Mr. Howard, this is James Allen. Uh, he's your last interview for the controller position. Thank you, Aaron. Welcome, James. Pleasure to meet you. Take a seat. Thank you. James, I'd like to start out by saying I understand that typically the um, CEO of a company doesn't play as much of a role in the hiring process. I hope that's not putting any unnecessary pressure on you, but I think it goes to show how differently business is done here at LikeShare. Absolutely, sir. And, and I feel that doing business differently is exactly why I sought out LikeShare Incorporated. Perfect. Did you happen to bring a copy of your resume in? Of course. Mm-hmm. Wow. Harvard Business School. Very impressive. Thank you, sir. <laughs> hmm. I've got to say, this is one of the more um, robust resumes I've ever seen. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but what makes someone choose to leave Goldman Sachs and come work for a small nonprofit company? Well, as you can see, I've been in the business world for a few years now, and recently I just find myself Aaron, can you bring in some coffee, please? I just want to get more involved. After being in the business world for a few years, I find myself wanting to get more involved with the community. And when I saw that LikeShare Incorporated works with those suffering from cancer, those with learning disabilities, and even the victims of the genocide in Africa, oh. I just knew that this was a company that I needed to be a part of. Well, it sounds and looks like you'll be a great fit. Thank you, sir. I do have one question, and I hope you don't find it too forward. But what exactly does LikeShare Incorporated do? Like you said, uh, cancer victims, the poor, the disabled, war refugees. Really, anyone who's undergoing any sort of suffering in the world, that's our business. That's what we do. I'm sorry, I still don't feel I understand. Well, you see, son, when there's a war in a country, there are those within the population who are displaced because oh, of the- Oh, sir, I wasn't saying that I don't know what a war refugee was. I think that's exactly what you're saying. Mr. Howard, sir, I understand who it is you help. My question is how do you help them? With our work, James. Look, maybe it's easier if I show it to you rather than explain it. You hate cancer, right? Of course you do, everybody does. What I'm gonna do here is hit share. That's how it's done. You think you're picking it up yet? Well, I get the idea behind the photo, but how does that help people suffering with cancer? 14 likes and three shares in one minute is how. 15 likes. But you realize that doesn't exactly help to find a cure for cancer. Well, unless you've got a better idea. I have a million better ideas. Name one. Well, 21 likes. Donate to cancer research, invest in educating people on the causes of cancer, become a doctor. I think any one of those ideas would have a substantially larger impact on finding a cure for cancer. James, <laughs> I'm digging your passion here, man. I just don't think the light bulb's going off here yet. 35 likes. You're familiar with James Coney? Yeah, he's that African warlord that was the cause of a huge genocide. Pretty bad guy, right? Obviously. 175 thousand likes 175,000 likes 175,000 sir we just got 20,000 likes on the injured dog photo get everybody in here now guys this Mr. Is Howard huge. wants you in the office right now you want to see animal cruelty get a kick in the dick Mr. Howard all you're doing is whoring out people's sufferings for Facebook likes and shares bingo likes and shares likes and shares incorporated now he's starting to come around Liking and sharing stuff on Facebook doesn't help anyone with anything. Another 97 percenter. I think so. 97 percenter? What the hell does that mean? 97 percent of people won't like or share a photo we post. This makes our job that much more difficult, working with 3 percent of people on issues that affect 100 percent of the population. Essentially, this means that we have to work 197% harder than we should really have to. Wouldn't you just have to work 97%? No, James. Because we here at LikeShare give 100% to everything we do. <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out, but what you're failing to see is that you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. Literally, nothing 
that you do here is a solution to any problem. Sir, sorry to interrupt, but the like this if you like your mom pick just hit 1.2 million likes. I got 1.2 million people around the world that would argue this is the solution to everything. Those people are idiots. <clears throat> James, I've got one last thing to share with you, no pun intended. Your words are hurtful. And I think it would be best if you just left. Fine. You people are insane. Scott, Scott, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, we just got 300,000 likes on the rape photo. Wait, the rape photo or the rape awareness photo? Um, I'm not hearing any difference there, so... Charlie, either you just found 300,000 supporters for rape awareness, or you just solicited 300,000 people to tell you that they like rape. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I hear, I hear the difference. Hey, one last thing. Change it to ink. Like sharing. It's cleaner. He's smart.